Hey everyone, it's Uran here, and this is going to be a different style of video. This is going to be my first ever Uran Rants video. This is going to be something I've wanted to do for a while because I like to talk a lot, I like to rant a lot, and I just like to discuss topics that have a great interest to me. And if you don't know, I was born and raised in St. Kitts, and I love Carnival, I love Sugar Mass. I love the band music, I love soca in general, but I love the band music, that's my number one. And I love the SK bands, and I think we produce some of the best music in the entire world, especially when it comes to soca, and we are normally overlooked, so I was very happy that we got a lot of coverage this year, and all of that, but I want to go back and go over the history of the bands, road match, and the music of St. Kitts, coming from when I was born, from when I was there, so when I started to pay attention, so let me preface this by saying I'm a Grandmasters fan. I've always been a Grandmasters fan. I was indoctrinated into Grandmasters, and then I eventually chose Grandmasters family where Grandmasters fans, so you end up following your family for a little bit, and then you end up choosing yourself when you get older. So that's essentially what happens now. The format for this video is going to be year on year because I feel like that's the easiest way for me to go about every single thing. So before we get into it, Sugar Mass is saying it's the National Caribbean Carnival. It is a wonderful time. It celebrates our culture and a lot of different stuff. I personally used to have a lot of things that I enjoyed about it. Like when you live in St. Kitts for a while, this is just me maybe, but I got tired of masquerades. Masquerades got boring for me. But when you leave and you come back, it's like, oh my god, you miss it. The one thing that never got tired for me were the actors, but they disappeared for a few years when I was growing up, so I was like, oh, that sucks, but... Bulls, always interesting. Maka Jumbies, interesting. It was always fun to see the celebration of our culture, especially because I think we kind of was one of the nice little hidden away gems until it's not. Not anymore, at least, so... I want to start by outlining what road match is. Road match in the traditional sense is the most popular song that is played by the judging points. That is going to be the song that is played the most by the judging point. Road match is normally decided like that. Currently sings as the most tra the most unique and quite frankly stupid road match <laughs> criteria ever. But there's a reason for that and we'll get to that when we get to the years when all of that started to really and truly go really really weird but all in all saying it's road match criteria now is unique but back then the road match criteria was the song that plays the most by the judging points and that's how it is in every caribbean country and the reason for that is simple we have juve troops so it's judged on juve and we have um parade troops it's judged on juve and parade what would happen is we would have the judges judging points all over the place on multiple places it used to be like either the circus or the national treasury i think it was the national treasury itself was the one the old treasury building it was there it was um development bank it was the national bank on square street and it was four judging points it was the last one i'm forgetting i do not remember it was at the top of fourth street top of fourth street where subway used to be if subway is still there i don't remember anyway I'm, I'm not living home, so I can't necessarily say, oh yeah, maybe Subway's, I don't know, I don't think Subway shut, shut down a while back, I think something else took over, but that's where the last judging point used to be. Anyway, road match used to be like that, and the dodge plan it was, when you reach by a judging point to get your troops to go on the best to be, to get the best reaction, to get the best thing, you're going to play the most popular song to pump them up and get them there. And so, that song would become the road match song, because that's the song that run the road, if you want to play that. So that's what a traditional road match is, that was road match was, and from the years 2000 to let's say uh, 2013, no 2000 to 2012, that's what was happening. We'll talk about 2013 when we get to it. But first, I want to say which years I'm going to go to. I'm going to go from about 2000 to 2001, or 1999 to 2000, all the way up, till 2023, and I'll try to explain and call up specific things. I just want to point out this year that I'm starting from was the year Grandmasters won the Millennium Jam. 
And as a kid, let me tell you all I remember from these first years. Oh, that's my favorite band. That's my family's favorite band. We won. Yay. The following year, oh, they lost. Oh, okay. Literally, kid. So that's 2000 and 2001. But I want to point out that this era here, like 1999 to 2000, that era starting going upwards, this era, I want to let it be known this is the three big band era. And of the three big bands, this was the Sugar Band era. Of the, like, all three big bands were well, but New Vets won five road matches from 1995, 1996, whatever you want to call it, to. The songs came out the previous year, so if I say, like, Grandmasters won road match in 1999 with Millennium Jam. But the song actually, the song came out in 1999. And the road match was actually finished in 2000, which is what it was called Millennium Jam. But yeah, so the year they came out, the year the songs released is the year the road match can be even though the road match technically happens. In it, the year it released plus the year after. Only difference being 2023 with how they judge it owning a juvenile. Anyway, that's a lot of rambling. Let's get into it. 2000, Small Axe wins with Shut Back on the Iron, which is a song I completely forgot about. I'm not gonna lie. I do not remember that year. I, as I said, as a kid, I went, oh, my band lost. Boom. The next year, though, New Vibes wins with the song Sugar. Now, this was a song that dominated. Earwaves, the whole Caribbean, it was really popular. And it was not my pick for road match. It was not my overall pick for road match. It was a very good song. It deserved road match. But there was another song that could have won road match to me. And it was Water from Grand Masters. And I enjoyed it. It was Water vs. Sugar. It was a very fun year for me. I loved it. It was great. It was pretty fun to watch. And it was kind of the first year I was actually like paying attention to Carnival. What I do remember is that I didn't want to be near Grand Masters because I was throwing water off the um, trailer. And, and I'll, uh, I want to add one more thing because I'm not scripted this or anything like that. But if I my condition accent, my condition dialect comes out too full for all of the people that are trying to watch, I'm going to try to curb it as much as possible. But when I talk about things that are happening with my country, I normally just lapse back. So I'm sorry if you can't understand me. I'm sorry this is a little bit too family, but I'm just trying to get to it. Because once I get to the ladies, it'll make more sense. So, yeah, 2001, Sugar. 2002, New Vibes Wins with Step Up. And this is the original New Vibes Band, if you want to call it that. In exactly the original, that's a member's leave and come back. But this is the New Vibes Band that was dominating. In this year's, New Vibes was just the best band. And the effect of it was, New Vibes was laughed at for a while. When they came out, I think they came out around the same year as when Masters became Grand Masters because Grand Masters broke off from Element and the J.S. Brass and eventually became Grand Masters and New Vibes became a new band and they were called the Transistor Radio and so this is knowledge I got from parents and people used to laugh at them because they're small and had no body and then they started to come up they started to rise up, they started to do a lot better and honestly, it paid off heavy because people love an underdog story People love them Cinderella streams. They love them, they love them, they love them. So when New Vibes was coming up, they became a Cinderella story and all the good young kids them, my generation in particular, started to follow behind New Vibes. And it wasn't just my generation. It was slightly older people that I mean, like, I say from teenagers down to like my generation and so, New Vibes, New Vibes, New Vibes, Sugar Band this, Sugar Band that, Sugar Band this, Sugar Band that, oh my god, it was Quite frankly annoying, I'm not gonna lie with you. Like, there were years where you know New Web's supposed to win and New Web's gonna win and you're like, bye, I mean I wanted we need to buy them fendish, them fender nine, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um that that's why I say this is also the sugar band era because this these years are years when New Web's kinda dominated, but that then changed because the next year, Small X band wins with Watch Creep Up. And I will tell you, I can't even remember other songs I was pushed that year. I can't. I cannot tell you. It was that much of a dominating victory. Small X was just on fire that year. All the other bands came had, but all the bands that was producing good music. And I'll say it. 
as a Grandmasters fan. New Vibes was bringing out the best music. Small Axe was bringing out consistently good music. Of course, it would dip years here and there, but Grandmasters was the one that was dipping the most. Grandmasters had some years where you got Millennium Jack and you get Masters Massive. And then you get My Time. And it's like, how? 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 how what are these dips, bro? But then we get to 2004. 2004. And I will say this time and time again. 2004 is my favorite year for road match in St. Kitts and Nevis when I was growing up, when I was a kid. Because that year deal was beautiful to me. Small Axe Band came with 100% Crime Free. New Vibes Band came with Bangalang. And my Masters Band came with Money Work. All three bands came with had songs, amazing songs, wonderful songs. Anybody could have win. You, it was a year where you just said, okay, forget about the analytics, forget about, you know, being objective, forget about just paying attention to how the music sound, who got the most popular, who got the most push. Cause I, I, get, I was supposed to preface the video with like, yeah, I'm someone who used to like sit down and watch this stuff and pay attention and you gotta figure out who winning road match just based off how the songs sound, how people feel into them and. That year, it was impossible. Everybody loved every single song that came out. You could not say who was going to win. Was it Small Axe? Don't know. Was it New Vibes? Don't know. I really more people was leaning towards New Vibes because New Vibes is the, was, is the most popular band at that point in time. But when Masters was actually the one that managed to win with Money What, and it was a wonderful year. All three bands came had, all three bands had a claim to it, and my band won. That's honestly why it's my favorite year. Because all three bands came out and I loved it. It was wonderful. And I don't think we've ever had a year like that ever again. Where every single band came out with songs where you can't see who's going to win World Match. It's never happened again. Mainly, you could say technically this year, but it was very obvious. If we were doing a traditional World Match, it still wasn't as up in the air as it would have looked. Like, this year was truly up in the air. And I loved it. The next year would be New Vibe's final road match in the entire list. 2005-2006, Ting Lang, and I will say this, Ting Lang was not the most popular song. Ting Lang was not the most popular song released that year. And Masters Band released Bada Bada, which was a slang. Everything you Bada Bada me, Bada Bada yo, it was everywhere. Bada Bada was by far the most popular song. And Grandmasters Band decided to push Hui Hot Hot. This is a running thing. Grandmasters tends to push the wrong song a lot. But here's what I will say about that as well. Ting Lang to me was New Vibe's best song at that point in time. Not only was it New Vibe's best song, it was by far the best song that year. It was the best song that year. No questions asked. They deserved the road match because it was the best song. And while I'm here, I want to I want to talk about how you can normally tell who's gonna win road match because it's not that hard. No, back in those old years, it was very simple. Only two songs, only two kind of songs would ever win the road match competition. The road match competition would be won by either the most popular song or the best sounding song. And sometimes they're one in the same, and sometimes they're not. The best sounding song sometimes sneaks up on the popular song and takes it over and sometimes the popular song just straight up wins. Majority of the time the popular song wins but sometimes the best sounding song just like can't believe that song won. I mean it sounds great but I don't believe it was more popular than this one. But it sneaks up and then it catches you and sometimes it ends up being the most popular song at the end of the day so the end of the day is the most popular song on the road but it's the best sounding song versus what on the island is the most popular and sometimes they're not the same song. And sometimes, that's just, oh, multiple songs have a claim to it. So, that's what I'm going towards. That's how I was able to accurately pick out from, I'd say, from 2005 until 2012, I was not wrong about who was winning the road match. And I was not wrong about who the road match competition would be between. At all. I was not wrong. Not in any capacity. I always got it right. And I'm quite, quite quite proud of that anyway new vibes band won with ting lang and it was a great year for new vibes new vibes was doing a lot 
This song good. They also, this was also the year, I believe, New Waves won the best band in the whole Caribbean at a world competition. And they went out and represent St. Kitts and they win. And then we had problems. And this is what I mean you know, me about the bands and the music and the road match. Because the bands them have issues sometimes. Bands always things you know, bands break up, they get back together, members leave, members go, a lot of things change. And Unfortunately for New Vibes, and I mean unfortunately for New Vibes, this would be the end of their road matches, and this also stemmed from this being the end of New Vibes as we knew it, because New Vibes broke up this year. Now, there were a lot of rumors and stuff going around, people saying that, oh, Mention wanted all the money, and I believe the person who left was also like his cousin or he bought all whatever, it was one of them things here. I think that person passed away a couple years after, but the thing was, that person there was like the person who made all the rhythms for New Vibes. I believe he also wrote some of the songs for New Vibes. So he left and the band broke up, they split up. People went all kinds of different places, but the band left and split up and he formed another band called The Vibes. Some New Vibes fans were devastated. Some said, oh, why are you complaining? But no, we got two New Vibes. We got New Vibes and we got The Vibes. And the next thing after that, when all of that came to fruition on the road, we had another blow up year. It was not a competition. Small Axe Band Team had with Masquerade. It was by far, it was a patriotic song in terms of bringing up pathway culture, the Masquerades. And honestly, it was by far the best sounding song. It was by far the best, most popular song. Even though New Vibes came really hard with Big Drum, D Vibes with Turn It Up, or Turn Up. Yeah, New Vibes was Turn It Up. And New Vibes was Turn Up, and New and D Vibes was Turn It Up. Again, the split of the same band, they, they sing two, they sing the same song essentially. Same rhythm and all, but one was saying turn up and one was saying turn it, turn it up, turn it up. And it was it was a very good song. When Master sing um something for something, and the way that ended was very close actually. Masquerade Billy won. And the reason for that was on parade day, Small X band broke down. They broke down on West Korea Street. Cause back then the Cannonball Parade used to go all the way across, um, all the way across towards West Square Street, down West Square Street, cross South Square Street, back up East Square Street, all the way back across on Keon Street area, back down towards the fire station, come across the road, come up Fort Street, and then they do the regular Juve rounds. So they go Church Street, and they go thing, and they go round and round and round, and that's all they jam. So yeah, they written around there, which was fairly early in the parade because the judging point was more split out. Probably the first over by the first station was a judging point that year. So they lost a few points. And another they didn't they didn't get the um national bank judging point either because I ended up down. So it wasn't very good. But DJs pulled through for them. Masquerade was able to barely hang on even though the band broke down. So that was very scary. Yes, Small X almost got robbed and almost got robbed by D Vibes. Because D Vibes get second. Masters get third and New Vibes get back. New Vibes get fourth. New Vibes get fourth. Watch that they break up and they went down the ladder. And you can't say, oh, people cheat on anything that. It was obvious results. But then guess what? It's what happens now. Because we have officially left the New Vibes era. We've officially left the Tree Big Band era. 2006 was the end of the Big Band era. It was the end of it. Because Small Axe Band broke up. Ras Kelly, who said a couple years ago, and watch you keep up I man never even my small axe band. Leave his small axe band. He left small axe. Left them and he was the reason why small axe was winning. If you want to know why small axe was such a strong man back then, it was Rascally. Rascally was bringing the rhythm. You could say, oh, Mr. Will sings some song, but Rascally is the one who sings most of the road match songs. When they win with Watch You Keep Up, it's Rascally vocal. When they win Masquerade, it's, mas it's Rascally vocal. Rascally was the one who was basically carrying small axe and Mr. Will was doing out some good songs don't get me wrong but Rascally was carrying small axe he was carrying small axe and with him left small axe kind of disappeared for a bit and I'm not kidding I don't even remember small axe on the road for 2007 the start of the Grand Masters era and yes this is the start of the Grand Masters era now this year was an extremely close year and this was also the year Lots of New Vibes fans decided that they didn't want to win road match anymore. And what I meant by that was that that year, Ronnie Rasko played Boom Bam Bam and he also played, which Boom Bam Bam won the road match and he won, and he also played Lion Paw. 
he played both songs. But he played Boom Bam Bam more than he played Lion Paw. And that's the thing. People, I, I, one thing I've always hated is that Rascal, I mean, not Rascal. Rascal is biased. Rascal only played A, B, and C by the judging point. I'm like, Rascal plays a song he wants to win World Match by the judging point. He plays the songs that he that wants his revelers to learn with. And he doesn't just play one song by every judging point. Like how people always clear him. Because that is a lie. He played multiple songs. I've watched him. I watched him. In the year when Red Masters is supposed to be dominating and winning, play Collision by Judging Point. I watched him do all of that, so I didn't want to hear it. I didn't want to hear it. He's played every single band by Judging Point, even after numerous people cuss him out this same year because of him Boom Bam Bam instead of Lion Power by a Judging Point and they gave X. And yes, they cuss him out. New fans did it to themselves and they did it to their own band, which by Rascal wasn't really playing the music for a little bit, by judging point because I I do it to myself, but it wasn't even just that. Cause I just wanna point something out. Remember what I when I said it is between the best sounding song and the most popular song? Lion Paw was the most popular song. Boom Bam Bam was the best sounding song. And I will say this, this isn't even just me being biased to it, this is me listening to music over and over. Every morning when I go in school, especially because this was one of the years when I started to go high school, I think it was like the second or third year in high school, it's probably second year. By the way, this was the year where every time my father, my daddy dropping me off, go to high school, the first song I play is Boom Bam Bam, the second song I play is Lion Paw, or the first song I play is Lion Paw, and the next song is Boom Bam Bam. And I listened to them true. And I this is the point when I started to get more analytical with the music. I just sat down and I isolated instruments and I just listened to rhythm, listened to vocals, listened to this. And let me just say something real quick. Because I just realized, I realized something, I realized something. I want to give some credit here. I want to give some good credit to Mr. Raymond Brown, also known as Smiley. Because I feel like saying people don't put enough respect upon this man name at all. I remember when I was growing up, they used to say something about the bands. They used to say every single band they said something about. They said, oh, you know, Small Axe band, when Small Axe band play, you know, the rhythm is the sweet, the rhythm is the sweetest thing ever. Because Small Axe band, which is the rhythm king. But when you hear and when you're only there, pan to knock and mention voice, you can mention lip, mention got the sweetest voice. And then they say Grandmasters G, Grandmasters just like the overall package is good and all of you. But I want to, I want to just stop it right there and I want to say something to this day. I think to this day, yes, to this day, I think Smiley is the best vocalist who sings band music in Zinkins. He may not be able to go as high as Mention or Lucas, but his versatility with his range has been crazy. And if you go over the years and listen to his songs over the years as they come up, Smiley doesn't necessarily sound the same all the way through. And you also have to remember, he also had surgery on his throat. So a lot of things happened. This man, his vocals were insane. Were actually insane, okay? Dude goes high and makes it sound good. Doesn't go too high because when he goes too high, he can, he's not supposed to go that high. When he stays in that nice little bass form area where he has the nice bass, oh my god. Dude is amazing. Dude, like, you can't lie. Please big up Smiley. Honestly, his range is crazy. And it's not even like this far range. He could sing high and support Rukas going low. You know, it's better the other way around. He could go low and Rukas support high and it just sounds great. And he could go real low. And the thing like, I'm sorry, man. I just got to stop right here because I've been seeing too much disrespect here and I need people to just hush up with this here because a lot of I feel like I got the greatest vocalist of all time and in terms of vocalist, I think Smiley is the best and I think Rukas is right there after him in terms of that I think Rukas needs to stop screaming so much and Rukas yeah. and I think Mention is right there after Rukas and I'm gonna say the same thing I said about Mention I want Rukas to Mention stop scream stop scream seriously stop scream you will be so much better. And Chubby would be the next one I would pull after that. But what I would tell Chubby, honestly, stop direct your song. You ain't a director in a movie. Sing your song, stop direct it. The fact that you're directing your song means your performance is lack. And that's also why I can't get on the pedestal because your performance is lack the way you perform your songs. That is probably the main reason why I cannot get on the pedestal. 
honestly. Anyway, we we jumped a little bit there, but I just wanted to get a little randy. But Boom and Bam won. It was a very close competition, and people ball cheat. And normally in sync, it's when road matches decided we get a flu after, and the flu normally is called a road match song. Sync is people bought the one, call it Lion Paw. Again, biasness. You didn't win, y'all. The virus was the Boom Bam Bam that year. Don't do it. Don't lie to yourselves. Okay, next year after that. Oh, I also want to point out something because I haven't been focusing on the band yet. Collision has been coming up now, has been so started. Um, New Vibes is still kind of clinging to how the family was, but uh, it's all downhill from here for a little bit. And Small X is non existent. But something else happened this year. And this was also the, year, the reason why we've entered the Grand Masters era. Boom Bam Bam was the year when I said the ultimate Grand Masters band was formed. Dear Vidos, making the rhythms. Smiley on vocals alongside Rukas and Mali. It was the ultimate combination. Masters Reach. This is when Masters Reach. And the next year, you see DF Vidos at work. Because not one single person could have tell you that Masters was losing. Not one single person could have tell you, oh, Grand Masters can. Grand Masters ain't winning because there's two most popular songs and the two best sounding songs for Carnival was Our Whale and Early Morning. And you guys went and uh, went and sing in the middle of the street, which, yeah. And I just want to point out, New Year's wasn't even in second. New Year's wasn't. New Year's got second place, but there wasn't second. This is the point when I was like, oh, collision, stop, collision, come after the collision. What? <laughs> because collision sing backshot, and that song was good. Some people like, man, back some I've heard people say some ridiculous things like, man, backshot should have won. I'm like, did you see our whale early, man? bro? This was not a competition. This was a slaughter. Okay? It was a slaughter. The reason why I say this is the Grand Masters era. We've entered from 2007 onward. This is the Grand Masters era. Because Grand Masters stepped up their game. Heavy. A Warm Whale was their best album at this point. And I'm telling you, it was their best album at this point. And I, as a kid, as a teenager, I was saying, Boy, my band come here two years in a row. They ain't doing it again. There's no way. It doesn't happen. It does not happen. No way a band is able to dominate like this, not have a dip year, not have something happen. There's no way you keep going up year after year. It doesn't happen. 2009. Grandmaster's band, Boss Your Bubble, which just released, and I kid you not, that year it was so hard to figure out which one was gonna win road match and i don't mean between the other bands and this but new web sing rocky top now no they weren't in the same league and bounce planet was better again collision was coming up i and, and i'll say this early at this point in time my rankings for the bands has changed dramatically at this point in time when US fans don't get salty they ain't real salty they already ain't salty that they ain't road match so Keep that in mind, but at this point in time, I can straight up say Grand Masters was number one. Number two was going to be Collision. Number three was going to be New Vibes. And again, Small Axe was not on the way there. And I can say straight up Collision was number two here, and a lot of people wasn't giving the credit because in Small Band, they just come, there's a bunch of little kids just come up all of it, even though I think what Chubby is like two years older than me or something like that. I think Chubby and Rook are the same age. Chubby three years older than me then. Anyway. Point being said, the band them come up, and I just want to point out that people wasn't in Jackie Jackets for these years. There wasn't even in the jacket. So I want to make up collision for these early years because they was producing good music, and there wasn't in they had enough following, and they produced good music after good music. Akai was killing it. Akai beat was crazy, and chubby vocals was good. I was doing a good ass job. Tech win. I was doing good. But yeah, Grand Masters was dominating. That's your mobile album. It was a uh, you, you slowly had to trickle off songs from the album that wasn't gonna win. And for me, it came down to Bust Your Bubble and Demolition as the best songs. With Bust Your Bubble being the road back song, the most popular song on the road, it was not a close competition. New Vibes got blown up every corner, every street, all you heard was Bust Your Bubble. It wasn't that close. New Vibes fans was Vex, as always, because they're always Vex. And I'm gonna say, it, this was gonna, and I, this was the year. And I can tell you straight up, 
Muscle Love became my favorite song. Yes, more than a while away. This became my favorite song. And this was the year I can officially say I chose Grandmasters. Where I said I stopped doubting them. I stopped saying, oh, Grandmasters gonna have a dip here. Grandmasters gonna do this. I stopped doubting them because they were putting out great music. Spot so, New Vibes was kind of struggling. It wasn't producing like awful music, but the music wasn't, you know, the original New Vibes standard. And Collision was rising. Every year Collision was getting better and better. I was like, oh, wow. Oh, and one other thing that happened this year. One other important thing that happened. Small Axe came back. And Small Axe came back. And there wasn't really, you know, super great album or anything. But they still sounded really good. Show Me Your Muscle is what I pushed for that year. But again, this was a Grandmasters year. It wasn't close. We're still in the Grandmasters era. But Grandmasters does not get to four feet. Because, jumping from trailer to trailer, producing me a patriotic song, producing the most popular song for that year, Mr. King Conris, the Honorable Conris Maynard, he came out with Unstoppable Force, he wants Soko Manak, everybody wants him to win Soko Manak, I was developing from Soko Manak, and let me tell you, the children them, the kids my age, all of them, none of us wanted him to win one match, not one of us, and we all knew he had a chance, we all knew he had a decent chance, but not one of us wanted him to win a road match. And the thing about it is, he would not have won road match. Congress won road match by one singular point. That year was ridiculous, let me tell you, right? For people in Anderson, New Vibes wasn't saying shit. They, they sang criteria that year, they sang fourth quarter, they wasn't saying anything. New Vibes wasn't in the competition, so let me just say it there. Collision Band, unfortunately, they also wasn't in the competition. They sang the Trian song, but it wasn't in the competition. And this was when Masters dip year. Remember I said everybody got dip year? It wasn't even a really bad year. It was just a dip year. They sing all the this year. Small Axe came, man. This was a Small Axe year. Small Axe sounded good, but they didn't have any... I would say, I think... Oh, do you think this was a weak year for the bands in general? But, honestly, it was the best song that came out of the bands. But the most hype songs that came out, the most popular song that came out for the carnival season was the rum song from Small Axe. But slow songs don't win insane hits. Not anymore. We're way past that point. And then, as up before, like I said, one. But Congress won by jumping from trailer to trailer. He jumped on multiple DJs and performed his by judging point. He was very, very calculated. He was very smart. They, this was the first time we saw strategy like this implemented in our road match competition. I'm like, because he's able to jump from track to track because he's not on a band like the rest of them. What nonsense are you talking? To be fair, Smiley did try it. Smiley did try to go on trailer to trailer when he realized what Congress was doing on Drew with the try to, to get out of this thing. Did not work out very well for him, if I'm going to be honest, but you know. Congress was doing that, and he wasn't just doing that on um, Juve, he did it on Parade too. And I will tell you, I was watching that year. That year it was so interesting because Ronnie Rascal normally is the person that decides road match. All DJs and some players stuff, but Ronnie Rascal is something that said road match. And I also want to talk more about the music that was playing on the road too, you know. But we're going to get to that because this year is also a year that I believe something else had happened. I think it was this year, it might have been earlier, but. I can, I can clue you in on something that was happening on the road that I don't like. That's been happening in Sinkers Carnival as well. But let me finish the road match path first. So, Congress was jumping from trailer to trailer. And on parade day, Ronnie Rascal at the first judging point up by Greenlands. The man played all the DC. And I was like, okay. That's interesting. You was playing unstoppable force on Juve too. So, what? what? Okay. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. And then you reach further down. And he play Unstoppable Force by the next one. I was like, okay, cool. It looks like he's switching on and off. If this continues, then he get them both four points for the year. For the for the day. By the third judging point, I tell you. I tell you, by the third judging point. By the third judging point, Conway's on top of Rascal singing for the rest. At the parade route. On the route done. And all the judging done. Conway's won. Road match on top of force with 25 points under the sea. First runner up, 24 points. Small axe man, rum song, 23 points. Now I want to talk about all the interesting things that happened on the road besides all the jumping and down. So, first, Red Devils, I believe, was a thing now, and Red Devils was the first problematic thing that happened in Sinkers Carnival. And I don't mean it in the whole um, Bible nonsense class. Forget, throw out your Bible. Make about it. It has nothing to do with religion. It has everything to do with hired people because Sparry and Hellfire Sounds was on the road. 
I don't know if was with Hell Fire or something, but Hell Fire was on the road. And there was a lot of cussing happening because them there, I don't remember if it was this year exactly, but whenever the first year of Devils come on the road, they started to play dance on on the road. Saint Kitts Carnival used to be 100% Kittishan music. And then they started to play dance on the road for Juve. So I just walk all out. People call him out and he went and he cussed back and he do it the next year and do it the next year. And because people my age sat to jam and sat to the thing, people vibe into it and it wasn't supposed to be the thing. That was never supposed to be the thing. We were supposed to run him up, we were supposed to tell him for himself, you condition, you play with music. Trust with music. It's we carnival. They ain't gonna be playing with music in Jamaica. They ain't gonna be playing with music in a Trinidad carnival, none of that stuff. We don't get we plays outside. So why you doing? What answer to do? We barely get play outside in America. We don't get no plays. The last band they used to get play was Small X. Needed you to understand what is happening and not do this shit in the country. But they went and they do it and now dance all became something that they play on the road for Sing Scannival and it upset me. You're supposed to be strong in my culture and I went and do this dumb shit. Red Devils start this shit. Red Devils and Hellfire Sound, I will start that shit. And it's spread even further now. It's spread even further. It's worse now this year. This year? Oh, I, I can't wait to talk about this year, but... Anyway. Small Axe Band also had something interesting happening. So, if y'all don't know, there was this one hi-fi called Tombstone International on the road. And let me tell you this one DJ. The people used people have dubbed them little small apps. Because small apps like around the whole of the town they sing rum song from start of parade to the end of parade, all they sing was the rum song. And behind them is Tombstone International playing the rum song. So regardless of what going down, regardless of what tombstone play rum, small X play rum, they get two points for every judging point. Guaranteed. This is the first kiosk. This is the very first kiosk of a completely biased DJ on the road so far. Keep that mind, it's the first kiss of it. Very first kiss. The next year. The next year. The next year. Masters ban again. And again, this song became my, my favorite song again. This was again became my favorite album. And Master stepped it up again. I was in shock because I didn't think that was gonna be higher than Bust Your Bubble. And then they did it. None of them could pass it like it was just so good. I one of my friends, his mom used to sell chicken and sometimes some chocolate. Said, when she heard that song for some she was like, blown away. That something could be that good. He smiley, he props. He smiley, he props. Anyway, point being said, blown away, amazing song, small axe reach back. I don't tell you, it's band rankings, again, band rankings shift round, band, band rankings shift round, because right now, best band, Grandmaster's band, hands down, they're number one. Number two, reach up, Small Axe, this Small Axe coming through, I get a Small Axe, Small Axe producing good music, you know, they come back, they show me your muscle, okay, ain't, a, ain't amazing or anything, but it's still good, and they come rum song, mm -hmm. and the whole album, they, uh huh, and then the next year after that, they come through, Swoop Drop and Song, album was good! Small X was coming here. That was number two. And I tell you, everybody could acknowledge Small X was number two right there. Masters was number one. Small X was number two. New Vets was in a slump. New Vets was in a slump. And I'll just say it up to New Vets was in a slump. Collision also came really hard that year. Write it, write it. No, no, no. Wrong song. It was cocky talk. Collision came hard. That come from Collision was, oh my lord. Creaky Gullens, oh my. That was such a good album from Collision. To this day, I will say to this day, Corner City now is Collision Best Album. It was so good. That was so good. Oh my god. Seriously, 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 seriously. The music was so good. That year music was so good. Akai even Akai left the band. That was the year Akai left the band with Collision. So you, you didn't expect them to be really, you know, great, but Akai worked with them and that one song with, with Kaki Top and that one. Killer. But the rest of the album was good too. But that year was, oh my. Y'all, go back and listen to Collision 2011 album. Just just trust me. Go back and listen it. Go back and listen it. Every single song, just go back and listen. They were all good. There were no skips. Collision sounded amazing. Go back and listen. I'm telling you, just go back and listen. They, were, they killed it. They killed it. It was, it was crazy. It was crazy. 
but yeah, that was another blow. You know, them compared to like it was way was by far the most popular song. Grand Masters basically one off of Juve alone. They dominated Juve. It was not close parade there. It was a very big win. This was a blowout victory for Grand Masters. It was not very close. And then we get to one of the most disappointing years in all of Carnival. 2012. No. 2012 marked a bunch of things that I would say think. I still consider 2012 part of the good era. Part of the good era of Carnival. I consider it still part of that. I consider it still part of the Grand Masters era. And I still consider it part of the good set because we entered what again we exited the three big band era. We entered the Grand Masters era. Because it's a point when Grandmasters was dominated, and now we're leaving the Grandmasters era because Grandmasters came up small, excited to come back. New Orleans was slumping, but Collision was also coming right there. So, this year, we had due to this age, and two things important happened. Collision had their first getting recognized by the Saints people as a nice big band. This was their first time getting a big following. Collision came up, they rose up to the occasion. But this is gonna hate with so I said, screw them. <laughs> I'm not kidding. They sing, they, they, they sang on a Haitian rhythm, and I was like, I don't like, I don't want this song to win. You sing a singing song. No matter how much singing this rhythm you put behind it, the big shake is still Haitian. So, no. The only other band that came up early enough to contest Collision was Small Axe Band, and I was in Small Axe. Due to this year, this was Jasmine's first road match, was the better song. But we also have to acknowledge specific things that happened on the road. EK, who was a past member of the Small Axe Band, Tombstone International, was also still on the road. We also have EK, who was a past member of the Small Axe Band, Real World Entertainment, now big enough, on the road. I don't think Tombstone's on the road, no it is, but keep in mind, Small Axe is getting a lot more points by default. They won by one point over Collision. One or two points over Collision. It was very close. So, Collision was kind of running the road, I'm not gonna lie. Collision had the popularity, but I think Small Axe song was better, and I believe Small Axe song should have won, and I was very happy that Small Axe win. Especially because going up the road, Collision started to cuss. They started to abuse a lot of people, and I lost a shit ton of respect for Collision. Funny thing about that is, Collision got the wrong message from that year. But they started to think that, oh, if we sing traditional soca, we're gonna get a better thing. So they started to sing on half Grenadian rhythm, run and walk up in and sing it's down. When I woke up, the thing is on a Grenadian rhythm with a Grenadian person. So I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. No. Uh, back down, started to do some stuff, and I was like, he, he's, he's screwing y'all over. He's, he is hurting y'all. And Chubby was kind of somewhat following the I was getting hot the next year, but we're going to get to that. The reason why 2012 was disappointing was because New Vibes Band International released on like the 23rd and Grand Master released on like the 24th. Well, Grand Masters had. All of the momentum coming into Carnival. Everybody was singing Hollywood coming into things. And then Carnival, I released it. And then I didn't even push this song that everybody was singing. You push a song that nobody knew. A song that never had a chant. To the extreme, which I think To the Extreme is a better song than um, Hollywood, honestly. And I don't understand how you're going to push this song when Hollywood was the most popular song coming into Carnival. So you immediately took yourself out. And New Vibes, if you came out early, oh my god. Um... Uh, I'm trying to remember that song. No, this was the year I could say New Vibes officially exited the slump. They exited the slump and entered inconsistent New Vibes ever because New Vibes became inconsistent. But it was more consistently good than consistently bad. But it was very inconsistent still. But New Vibes left the slump this year. It was one one order. One order is what they left the slump. It became really good that year. Next year, I was no longer. I was out of the country. And I listened to the songs released because that is one of the things I love. And oh my god, what happened? Small Axe is from like absolute duck shit. It's this. It's this. Some terrible. Masters, who sent them? Mm, that's road match. Who sent them is road match. Who sent them sound the best? Who sent them sound the best? Bye. New vibes, you know, Freaky Mash Jamming. New vibes is back. Freaky Mash Jamming. A grade. Oh, New vibes is back. Oh, Collision will run and walk. Throw that shit in the bin. <laughs> that ain't a saying kids. I ain't a real saying. Throw that shit in the bin. Get, get that shit out of here. Throw it away. Throw that shit away. Collision, collision entered a slump. Collision entered a slump. I'll tell you straight up. Collision was in a slump. And they were trying to borrow everything. And they were struggling. They were struggling. And it was back down fault. And it was them they fought. It was 
also saying is people fall for telling them that that was the best album. And that was the best they ever took the artists on here. They come up early and I ain't had nobody else to listen to. They did what they had to do and I only give them recognition because nobody else was out there. And I was like, oh, you know, Collision sounding good. Collision was sounding good the year before and I didn't give them the recognition. Oh yeah, Kaki Top sounding good. But I didn't give them the recognition. Your album sounding good and I give them no, rec no recognition. It pissed me off. It, it, it pissed me off. Don't get me, don't get me started. Because every year, and I'm going to say it, almost every year Collision was getting a forward. When I look at the carnival, it was not even a year collision was really and truly saying shit. And it pissed me off a little bit. Because it was years that deserve a forward and they get overshadowed by masters. They get overshadowed by small acts. They get overshadowed by other things. But the years when they don't really deserve a forward, they get it. And I was, it didn't make sense. Saying people was confusing me. But there was also the, the fact that the young generation was started to cling to collision. Because again, they love the underdog. So, so the younger generation started to big up collision now. So people younger than me They're not my teenage people some of people my age but the younger set the younger younger set them primary school people and so they started to pick up collision at this point in time that's why you see most of them there's teenagers now some of them is young adults there are many people behind you behind collision right now pay attention same trajectory new vibes how is the same trajectory collision on pay attention pay attention anyway Pride was the worst song they released and it won overwhelmingly. This year, the Carnival Committee changed the criteria a bit. They changed where all of the judges were located. They put all of the judges roaming all over the place. So, DJs didn't know where the judges were and all that stuff. I guess there was complaints about cheating. Uh, so, oh, Grand Mass has been in every year. They, they sounded the best in all honesty. So, yeah. <laughs> they sounded the best. Anyway. So, the change with the DJ was located, I'm, I'm guessing this was in response to small like seven and three people playing just the music. So, by the end of Juve, because I watched the, the broadcast for parade day, and I backwards calculated how much thing. By the end of Juve, if my calculations were correct, based off of the first judging point, so again, this error, I didn't see every judging point, but it's on the first one. Small X band lost Juve to Grandmasters, but won overall with Hadwell by 20 points they lost Juve when Masters came out on top of Juve not by much but when Masters came out on top of Juve and lost the overall road match on parade day because almost every DJ on the road was playing small axe by the judging point and I can tell you this was the year this was the year this is when I can say we officially have entered the dark ages because this was the first year where I can say small axe was completely out of the competition for me and they won it was supposed to be New Vibes and Grandmasters fighting for a road match, and I believe who sent them should have won. And the song that wasn't included anywhere in that calculation, which was Small Axe song, won. And it won overwhelmingly. And it wasn't like it was super popular either. It was a popular song because of the commercial, but it wasn't super popular. It wasn't something that would be running the road. Everybody else sounded better. So how did the was sounding band win? Well, Apparently, Small Axe has some very interesting hands because apparently some DJs get something in their pocket. Even the Small want to claim that they never do it, everybody knows that they pay them off. Everybody knows. So this is why I say we've entered the Dark Ages. Because there's a difference between somebody obviously having the best song I'm by like 5-10 points and somebody having the worst song I'm by 20 points. Because that's the era we entered. Next year after that, the criteria changed. This is why I said how we got it. This is how we got it. This is how we reach to how say it's road match is the most unique criteria in the Caribbean. Criteria changed from being a road match competition to a glorified so common act. College um I don't feel like Collision was saying anything this year yet. I think it's a year after Collision came with um 2014? 2014, 2015? Maybe it's this year. I think it was next year they come with it, but um, Collision was struggling for a bit, and I remember there was a couple years where it was just floundering, floundering. Because that year with a Sing Dust, which I think it was this year to Sing Dust, but there wasn't really Sing shit. No, I was home. I was I was home for I wasn't home for Dust. I definitely wasn't home for Dust, I was, but I was home for Bottom anyway, so it had been next year. So there was still Collision was still kind of floundering here then. Collision was in a slump. There was legitimately in a slump. I cannot remember what they do for Bottom in the Road yet. I cannot remember. There wasn't there wasn't a slump. But anyway, Smallest had the most popular song on the road with Bottom in the Road. 
And in a traditional road match, it would have been a battle award. But on this criteria, yes, was the better song. And yes, was the better song overall. Yes, it's a better song. And yes, it's my favorite Grandmaster song. And I believe that album was, again, one of Grandmaster's best albums. I still think Not Incompatibility was a better album, but I think Yes was by... And it's my favorite song to this day. Yes was an amazing song. My favorite song to this day. Grandmasters had the song that should have won on that criteria, but the reason the criteria changed because of that nonsense that happened with Smart X. Criteria change. So the change was drawn for Soko Manak. Smart X somehow won with your nursery rhyme song. Because Bottom of the Road is a nursery song, it didn't sound good. I still don't think Bottom of the Road sounds good. Bones was the best only song, and Bones sounds annoying to me now. That you know. So yeah. Smart Smart X won because people just wanted to walk up. People wanted to put the bottom of the road. That's the only reason they were. Seeing as people went for they like walk up more than anything else. And that's why they won. And I don't mean they win because of the criteria. I mean, I'm pretty sure the candy will come to somebody gave them. But to give Small X some credit, I watched my master's performance. And it was a good performance. The parade they won, I'm talking about. And something happened on that stage. Because I saw Smiley do something in frustration. Because he was trying to get the song back on track. And Rukos was going, Bitch. What do you think? And I was like, Hmm, Smiley was trying to get his song back on track. And I think they I think they lost points because of that miscommunication there. And that could have been the difference between them actually winning the world match that year and not. So I saw that little slip up. So I'm not gonna say that Smilex didn't legitimately win. But with how much better of a song yes was plus the criteria there. I don't think that one performance is enough for Small Axe to win. I'm sorry. I think they gave it to Small Axe. I honestly think they gave it to Small Axe. Then, people did like the criteria. So we went back to the old criteria. And once more, Small Axe came out with a song that had no right to road match with Pepper Dem. And Grandmasters came out with um, Big Up. They pushed the wrong song again. How you mean? I believe this was the year when Collision came back. No, no. This was Collision singing the Stupid Powder song. This was the Stupid Powder song. And, um, so Collision was kind of just there. It wasn't awful, but it was just kind of there. And, um, what else? New Vibes. This was supposed to be the pass that I got for New Vibes for me, if I'm being honest. This was Ketty's song. Ketty sing Juicy Fruit. Now, my master's in the wrong song, so my master's is out to this competition. Collision ain't saying nothing. Again, they're singing that stupid color song. So this was actually legitimate between Small X. And think, even the Pepper Dem was an alright song. This was a New Vibes road match. This was New Vibes supposed to put himself back on the track. But once more, Pepper Dem playing on every street. This cocky, busting song that I know for a fact, SK people ain't gonna be moving to. The only people who'd ever be moving to Pepper Dem it's small like fans. That song was too cocky, too boosting for people to actually jam in behind it. And a lot of people resented small acts at this point in time. And they won again. They won. This was the year when a lot of people got fed up of small acts. A lot of people, like, when they went with Bottom and the Road, they wanted them to win. When they went with Hardwell, some people forgave that. I didn't. I think that was bullshit. But this year when they won, yeah. A lot of people weren't happy with it. A lot of people weren't happy with it. So I want to stop back a little bit because Ultra Carnival has been on the road now. And I believe Mr. Ketty and LAX have been winning so many competitions and producing songs like Big Truck and Jack Hammer now. I feel like this has been a thing now because they're doing it with Small X because Small X will say, Let's see if you Jack Hammer songs. Let's Jack Hammer songs. Songs them sound different. Just because they name the same means two different things. Shut your mouth, rascal. You, you. This ain't the first time about people teeth your rhythm when you got people singing similar lyrics to you. When I completely different rhythm then to so I want you to, to chill with that shit. Anyway, this was the ultra was on the road and ultra bring that one. DJ Kevin gave it a bunch of other people. And <clears throat> I'm gonna call it out. This was the year I remember other people's soak of music being played on the street. This is when the Trinidad soca music, the mainstream stuff started to be to play on Vegas and I was like, what is this shit? Play with all music, we have so many years of music. Go back, all the way back in years if you want to play all the stuff. Do not play that Trinidad shit here. No disrespect to Trinidad, but saying it's carnival, play saying it's music. I ain't want to see this stuff, but these DJs come in, they're out for a while, and they come back and they're playing all these 
other island music and I'm like what is this this is not saying it's stuff what are you doing is it but oh I want to see all your music to outside I'm like oh that's very cool but guess what Trinidad music to play every wheel we music ain't gonna play after carnival for the most part play with music play we music it gets worse more and more traditional soca creeps in so I know Blackie was saying one 95% soca 95% sing his music 95% others it's probably closer to like 90% at this point because it, they've been clawing away at it they have been clawing away and the more international DJs gel you're an amazing DJ but you're still a Trini and you're still playing your Trini stuff and you're still playing other oil of music I understand you love your music too and I respect you and I'm happy that you're playing music out here but I want I to understand when I come in to sing it's carnival, right? Please play with music. Play with music. Go back to the dialogue. Go back to the catalogs and learn older music. Play with music. Play our older music because this is ridiculous. This is actually ridiculous. Sing it's carnival is supposed to be playing sing it's music. What is going on? What is this nonsense? This is the last I'm gonna touch on that, but that was one of the things that was bothering me about all these recent years and Ultra kind of started. And LAX and my mother was surprised when she heard Jackham and Big Truck because she was like, Are these our songs? This is Sankit's music? I'm like, Yeah, they're sing by Sankit's edges. But they don't sound like Sankit's music, they sound like Trini music. And Ultra started this shit. This shit, like LAX and Ant was always with Ultra and so, and they did the whole little Jackhammer dance and all that stuff to it. That was the stuff that Ultra started up with. And let me just want to learn in here. Ultra got a problem with you and your DJs. I have a very big problem with your DJs. I have a very big problem with this shit I doing. Lux. Lux. I see what Ultra do and I doing the same shit. I might not gonna jack hammer dance to go with. But I doing the exact same shit bringing in these international DJs. And they're playing all sorts of other music on the road. Outside of we own music. I don't like it. People have been complaining about it too. Stop it. Stop it. We supposed to be, If I want to play it. One percent, one singular percent at most. We supposed to be ninety-nine percent sync it, one percent others. Because when you go out there, you ain't getting a sync it music play, and I annoy it. I annoy it. Anyway, Pepe them one, another artist of victory for the smallest man. <laughs> yeah. When masters, oh weird. Before I even get to the next year. I also want to point out that Small Act should have recognized what was happening to them and they should have stopped being boasting and cocky because they had a little victory jam or whatever a final jam on the bypass road and I remember watching these videos because Small Act was saying they was coming across going towards the airport and when Masters was, on, was the other band on the road and it was coming back across the other way coming from the airport and Small Act was saying oh yes Big Bad reached on the road and when we reach over there Whoa, I see them crowd was one my master, sir. We're gonna take the whole crowd. We can take it. We can take the whole crowd. And again, I just want to point out a couple years back when Masters band, Mally left the band. It was the same year with um the Hollywood song. That was the year he left. So unfortunate. Very unfortunate. But anyway. He left after Hollywood album. But and he was on top of small exit with them. So there was a little bit of cussing that happened here. I don't know what really was happening because the year when I went back home, he was the bringing back on, even though he wasn't a member of the band, they bring him back on top of the band and he was singing with them for a little bit. So I don't know what happened between them a couple of years, but he went and singing on top of Small Axe and there was a little bit of cussing that happened on the road. But that's beyond that. That's beyond that. Small Axe was talking a whole lot of shit and then Grandmaster wasn't saying anything. And the class, the bands clashed, the bands passed each other on the bypass road. Small Axe was left with five people. Five old people because Marx is the old people band, and every single younger person, every even a lot of older people, everybody tells Marlax exactly to their fears. We don't like what you're doing. We don't think you deserve the road match. We don't think you're the best sounding band. We don't believe you deserved this. And they left. They left. Every single one of them went bearing with masters. And it was one of the most humbling moments. Or at least it should have been. It should have been a humbling moment. By the way, when masters passed them with the rhythm that would have become the walking shift rhythm later. There was used to sing Love Me, Love Me, Where I or something like that. They used to sing that on the walking shift rhythm. So 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah, pass. And Grand Masters was running the, running the entire year with Walker Shift. And then Carnival come. Walker Shift release. Grand, I will say Smallest had a very good song. Warrior was like really good. Warrior was scary. I was so convinced that Smallest was going to win because Smallest had people in the pockets as normal as the regular criteria. Smallest got everybody in the pockets again. Oh, last Smallest going to win. Even though Walker Shift got the popularity, Smallest sang really good. And Smallest going to win a good song. But, and here's something I wanted to point out. Here's something. <laughs> it's going to sound bad, but. The only way I ban Wins and Zink is if the other bands do not sound good. If the other bands do not sound good. And Smallest is the and Smallest and Grand Masters are the only and only one other band sound good. So Grand Masters sounded good. New Webs didn't really say much. And I don't remember. I think this might have been um um Free Willy. This might have been Free Willy. I might be mixing it up, but Free Willy was when I feel like Collision started to get back on track. So whenever Free Willy come out, Collision was back on track. Free Willy might have come up before the Dust song in all honesty, but Free Willy back on track, eh, a little inconsistent with Dust song, but after this, watch Collision after this, because Collision starting, this is Collision going, Collision going up from this point, Collision going up from this point, but yeah, Collision coming back to form is what I should really say, but going up from this point, anyway, point being said, point being made, oh lord, this is a long video, an hour already, Jesus Christ, Oh, I promise me next time video ain't gonna be that long, I promise. <laughs> anyway, one for shift one, it was surprising. I didn't expect them to win. Honestly, I was very happy. Everybody was happy. Everybody was, you know, means. Ah, he cut off the pinky finger. They don't get a five feet because I had it on the album with five finger in the ear. Oh, we gave me five feet. Where's the hands up in victory? I bring home a, a next trophy. That's the like was singing. Ghosting the war, and that's what I was happy to do. And to this day, to this day, Imran, every time Imran performs his ballad, but and he performs the song. He's like, I bought me, he bought me, not me a cheat this year, he bought me. Shut your mouth, how much years I don't rob people? Take some robbing on your ass, though. I would cheat, pay off DJs, left, right, and center, got people in your pocket. Oh, another thing, another thing that I hear, another big thing that also worked against Marlax. Real World Entertainment had Akai on it and Akai them was singing their own stuff with TK and so so it wasn't really playing they was playing other music and so but it wasn't really con contributing at judging points so Small Axe wasn't getting all them points that they normally was at the same time so Akai thank you for being with Real World oh my god thank you because this bullshit was going on for too long and it needed to happen it needed to happen unfortunately We've reached to the final year of the old criteria because every single band came had. Collision had a very good album, but I can't tell you about Collision. But this was the year with Gears One, not Gears Three, not the Gears Remix, but Gears One. And this one, I'm like, what about any of them? He Minkos, Minkos had the best song on the album with Gears. That was Minkos song. That wasn't Chubby song. That was Minkos song. Study that. He, when he do that interview, I'm like, people use a UFL hat. Team like you as the one who sing gears and you, you, you sing the first gears. The song that take off? It, it wasn't before, I think they were doing some backup song. But surely there are a lot of really good slow songs, but I didn't feel like they had any road night songs. New vibes, oh my god, new vibes, I you gonna bar, we get cheap, we got I you. I you gonna have. New vibes was back. And I could say that was back because my new was back. And it wasn't just Rock and Come In. It was Boss Lady too. And don't even give me that. When Masters chip on them, bubble up. Woo this was a year. This was a year. And all the bands sounded good. So as soon as I heard that, I was like, oh, Small X win. All the bands sounded good. Small X sounded like absolute shit. The puppy song was absolutely awful. Small X win. I said it early. I said it so early. I said Small X is going to win. I called this. Small X sounded like absolute garbage. And I said Small X is going to win. All the rest of the band them sound too good. They're going to cannibalize each other points. And Small X winning. Small X won. By a large margin. Again. They paid off. And people like, oh. and people who don't want. People who want to believe that the company was physical. Yeah, Small X is the road match band. Man, they understand how to win the road match. I don't know how to do this. I'm like, they pay people. They pay people. They pay people. They have bias DJs in their pockets and they pay people. You're really telling me Rock and Come Here lose to the puppy song? 
You really tell me Chip and them lose to the puppy song? Really? Really? Well then, all of the bands got fed up. Every single band got fed up. And they went to the criteria people. They went to the carnival committee. And they said criteria needs to change. Every, the road match people, the carnival committee put out a new road match. And every single, and I want to point out something here. And they saw you know smallest was paying people. They saw you not, they was guilty. They saw you not a guilty. Rascally ended up leaving the band that year to form the rhythm band with Statics and Seiko. Rascally was on that voting panel. The rhythm band was on that voting panel. Alongside all the rest of the bands. Let me tell you straight up. Every single band including Rascally band. Every single one voted yes to the new criteria. The only band that said no was Small Axe. And I know some people was beating up Small Axe because the criteria was dog shit. And I will admit this criteria was dog shit. But in all honesty, if everybody is saying this criteria needs to change because Small X is cheating and Small X is buying out all these DJs, nonstop, including one of your own members who won the road match last year, it was Rex Kelly's song. The stupid puppy song was Rex Kelly's song. I just want to point out that was a Rex Kelly song. Rex Kelly himself, straight up said, criteria need to change. No, I, I, I just I just want to point out Small X still won because they sang they were, Rascal was also being very petty because there was a song that was the same what Oyon and he sings serious thing on that rhythm there and he also copied the rhythm so, so I can't sing the, sing the song I can't sing the, the Oyon song no more and they had to change the rhythm so it sounded kind of nasty I think Daddy Two Sec was with them that year who used to be with um, um, Collision anyway point being said Crazy you change and Small X come with some sticks and they went up, down, up, down, up, down. Get G with it, get G with it. And they won. <laughs> I the criteria in the fierce. And they won. And this was the year when Collision could ball cheat because Gears Refix? No, I felt weird. I, I didn't feel good about a remix song being the most popular song on the road, but it was by far the most popular. No, that's a lie. The two most popular songs on the road, only two songs that are real claim for their traditional road match rascally and the windy man sing down by tata that's a nasty song that's a nasty that's a song carnival committee had them sense of the song but they sing that song there and it was this it was one of the most popular it was either that argues but a good road match it was the most popular songs on the road and the carnival committee didn't want really and i think the carnival committee kind of screwed the rhythm band in that sense because they were saying down by tata was too nasty to be played on the road they also kind of hit grand masters on the then hit Grand Masters again after that, you know, the next year after that was Live After Shirts and I told Grand Masters they couldn't sing Bend Down With Your Head Down because they were singing too nasty. Even Grand Masters changed the lyrics a little bit, they were saying it's not too nasty, they couldn't sing it. Even though that was the most, that was the most popular song that year. But that was also the year that a lot of people love to sing and complain about. Oh, you might say we would area code. Grand Masters sang Live After Stress. Grand Masters' performance was better. But look, look what happened in 2023 with Small X winning. No, two completely different performances. And this is something that I wanted to, that I want to talk about. Collision also said to, yeah, big Collision was big now, but I want to talk about this, this in particular, I want to talk about because this, New Vibes Randy Road, if it was old criteria, Eric Cole 100% won. But this is something I want to talk about on this criteria here, on this new criteria here. New Vibes Band has been getting the ass beat and the reason they made the ass beat, tell me one time when New Wibs actually has registered their own Juve troop, put up their own app, put up their own stuff to have people have in the band to help their performances. Not one. People come down the road with these tiny ass flags, wearing them left and right. Small as these big gigantic flags everywhere. What, what New Wibs is on top of the truck? I put up tiny flags. I wasn't doing much. The people that wasn't even moving the same, there was no coordination or nothing like that. I was just, oh yes, area code, who? Get me area code. Ah, that's it. Lift off the stress. We had a literal dance to it. Lift off the stress. Everybody had in there. Put your hand in there. Yeah. Lift off the stress. You had them going up your fist bump, popping, going up the road. Similar to how yes was. The performances were year, was, was night and day. 
and Akka himself even called it that, that Grandmaster was gonna win. But everybody about cheat, 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 how we lose, how we lose. You lost because you were not performing better. And something else I want to point out. Grandmasters performs better than New Vibes. Every single year when it comes to being on the road. Mention has had much technical problems. Year after year, they got the speakers up too high, they're too loud, they got a lot of nonsense for you to happen with them. How you expect to win on a criteria like that when you never fix your technical issues? No, I was not home. I don't know if they had full technical issues or they come better or that. But New Vibes, New Vibes always have to be New Vibes always have some issues going down. Bro, it upset me. It has upset me with this year. This year in particular, that's why when I put out, I ain't not read the criteria if I ain't understand when my masters win. That's why I said it. That's why I straight up said it. And people are like, oh, the boy is blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm, I'm a Grand Masters fan. But I'm not biased when it comes to road match. And I will tell you straight up who I believe is supposed to win every year who's supposed to win. You saw me went through the You saw me say, you, you saw me give New Vibes props. You saw me give Collision the props. You saw me give Rhythm Man the props. You saw me say, who's supposed to win? Who, who I felt was supposed to win? Who had the most popular songs? Who had the best songs? You saw all of this come true. So I don't want to hear nothing about nobody calling me a boss. I'm going to push my band because that's my band. But when it comes to road match, I don't tell you who's supposed to win. No. I just want to point out. I just want to point out. This was a very simple thing. When Master's album was better than New Vibes, album, New Vibes had one song. So that's just that. New Vibes had one song. But I, I got upset because people don't seem to understand the criteria and the cheat and whatever. So then we fast forward to outside again on this criteria and I was like, all the bands them wasn't really saying man. Like, my master sounded the best. It wasn't close. But I want to, before I jump to outside again, 2020, 2021, Rascal and Everyday Man broke up. Rascal went back with Small Axe. In the middle of the pandemic, he went back with Small Axe. Well, in the middle of the shutdown because the pandemic is still raging. Y'all, pandemic is still happening. It's not over. We're heading towards a peak of where one in three Americans would probably have COVID at this point in time. It is killing a shit ton of people. It's disabling a shit ton of people. For the love of God, the only reason why I'm saying is people ain't really getting affected is because all these are small people and a lot of people is coming in. But considering how much people are reaching for carnival, these next couple of months might be a little bit difficult for Ayo. Drew had flu. It's a possibility. I ain't had that much COVID, but people bringing COVID and not definitely, and definitely not people bringing COVID. So. I hope the kind of the variants are going to run away into play with. It's long story short, it short circuits your immune system similar to HIV does. Anyway, enough of that. Done with that. Me one go down the road, you know. But point being, I want to big up Upset Squad. Because Upset Squad was the only band that was really bringing up music throughout these years. And Shake was so good. When I heard Shake for the first time, I'm like, oh my god, Static Stem sound good. That band there sound good. And then, we went to 2021 where Cop had before the attack as was. And then Molly Media come up with his song. Um, when it was live, log on to Molly Media. That one there? Aye, Upset Squad was going. And uh, so big up Upset Squad. Because they were sounding good. In fact, when we reached the outside again, dominating song, absolutely the best song. And I love how Rukas went and Rukas did an interview with Perspective Media and he tell you the two most popular songs that come out of Sinkers Nevis are here. Outside again, and, 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 Rick Cowbell, Rick Cowbell, yes, it was the Cowbell. Upset Squad again, Upset Squad. Statics Upset Squad again. And people were, I hear people trying to clone Upset Squad and so this year. And Upset Squad still sounded good. So I need to call him off Upset Squad. Upset Squad is where Collision was 20 years ago. And I'm telling you, Upset Squad sounds amazing. They sound good. Give them a couple years and I'm telling you, they're going to lick in iron. Them there, they're where Collision made. They're producing really good music. And unlike Collision, I'm going to say it straight up. When it comes to the carnival stuff, they tend to perform really well. Cowbell, the performance for Cowbell was exceptional. Smallax apparently is very good at performing because 
treat you like a ball well. But outside again, Gandas literally created a whole house on top of the thing and then break through the house when it was singing outside again for the performance. I'm sorry. Y'all wasn't topping that. The song was dominating. The song played everywhere. The song went worldwide. That song went regional and worldwide. It played in America. When the last time you said Rocket said you was hearing Sanky song playing in America? Exactly. The song played everywhere. Rukas, Dejua, can I kill it? Can I do it? The song was playing everywhere and I was very, very happy. Very happy. Very, very happy with that. On top of that, no, we reach to the modern day. Also, Collision was getting something for following. And I, I just want to say something. But people say, oh, Master Sabu was saying, I want Collision when we think. Collision wasn't saying shit that year. And then they went and do the interviews. And I just want to tell you, get all your head out of your ass. Minkos, get your head out your ass. Chubby, get your head out your ass. Both of you. I had out I ass. I wasn't winning against Outside again. I wasn't winning. Upset Squad sounded better than you. Okay? The only band I heard legitimately sounded better than was Small Axe. And it wasn't by much that year. Because Small Axe sounded okay. Actually, Small Axe sounded kind of bad, but Collision wasn't, really wasn't talking that year either. New Vibe sounded. Again, New Vibe are in, inconsistent, but they sounded pretty good. And then we get to the current year where once more on this roadmap criteria, once I heard showcase, I discounted it. I wasn't paying attention and then I remember going into so and I was so coming I'm like when I was listening to the song, I'm like, Smallest is winning roadmatch. Oh shit, smallest is winning roadmatch. Shack T radio. Because Grandmasters has a has Grandmasters popular song was Wrong Man. And Wrong Man lyrics wise could definitely work. But how do you perform Wrong Man? Can. Happy is the better song to perform, but happy, lyrics wise, it's kinda trash. Like, that song is kinda trash, bro. <laughs> like, I'm not saying the song is bad, the song is really good. I love happy. I'm just saying, lyrics? Lyrics. Rough man is lyrics. Happy was not lyrics. Ken and Baby? Lyrics. Pressure? Lyrics. And I got to big up all the bands. Wheels? Fake Bomb? Also, 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 how are you gonna sing a song? How are you SK people gonna let Molly bring out a song saying me don't want a fake bomb? And then got fake bomb going viral out of cool effect. It, it wasn't cool effect, it was cane juice. Cane juice thing, I let fake bomb go viral. And then I reach on the road for Carnival and I highlighting and Juve Man in the same fake bomb on the road. Oh Lord! Molly Media sing a song. He said he don't want a fake bomb. And are you? Who oh, shit! <laughs> It was funny to me, okay? It was funny to me. I watch how are you pushing this girl with this fake bomb, this clear BBL. Lord. Anyway, Small X Man had the best performance by far. Shoki they won it. They deserved it based off of the criteria. But this was another year where I could say we've officially established a new big three. And a fourth member, as I will say, a fourth big band, if you want to call it, in the makings. Right now, the band standings for overall bands at the end of everything. End of 2023, going into 2024. Here are the standings for the bands for me. And if you vex, it sucks, it sucks. Worst band, worst big band is Small X. They are the worst. They are not saying enough. They ain't doing enough. They ain't up there. They're really not. Next, we have Upset Squad. Right after them. Upset Squad has already, yes, three, four years in existence and they've already surpassed Small X Men. It's not that hard, y'all. Most of the small bands that could come up, and as long as they're actually putting the craft and time into the music, they could pass Small X. Small X ain't saying shit right now. I'm sorry, they're not saying shit. The album wasn't awful. Showcase is a really good song, but everybody else is just far more consistent than them. Everybody else is putting up far better music than them. They are the most consistent band at being bad. They are the most consistent band at being mediocre. And that's not a good thing. Upset Squad is the only, the only reason why Upset Squad is not ranked higher than fourth is because they're still young. They're still new. Their consistency is unrivaled right now. 
they are doing it every year good music every year but you're going up against bands that have been around for 30 40 years and these bands some of them have been consistent for the last 20 years some of them not so much so honestly straight up putting it out there yeah yeah my masters new vibes and collision are definitely the big three right now they're the big three right now they're the big three so upset squad i don't know what happened between iowa and statics it looked like i was still cool with statics please bring the men back in iowa band please Statics has always produced decent music as a solo artist, but it's never been anything that breaks the record. The best music I have seen Statics bring out is when he has been a part of the band. When he was part of Rhythm Band, he produced some really good songs. When he was part of um, Upset Squad, he produced really good songs. So I don't know what happened, but Statics, if I even see this video, see this thing, Statics, please go back with Upset Squad. Please. I don't know what happened. I don't know where you're solo. I don't know anything, but I need you to go back with Upset Squad. I need you to go back with Upset Squad. You produce better music when you're in a band. You produce way better music when you're in a band. Please. Go back to the band. Go back to the band. Just go back to the band. Anyway. The top three is the hardest to rank. But we got to go with consistency is king. And in third place. In third place. Very close between third and second, by the way. Second and third are very close right now. But New Vibes is still super inconsistent in comparison to Collision. Collision has been consistently good, consistently bringing out good music more often than New Vibes. The only reason why New Vibes had an even somewhat of an edge was because of longevity. But even then, if we look through all the years come up for these past 20 years, Collision has been more consistent than New Vibes way more consistent and that's from the inception till now they have been more consistent than over those years so new vibes band is third collision is second and the most consistent band and the best band in st kitts and nevis is still to this day the grandmasters band and yes they have had this since 2007 when all the other bands broke up and grandmasters got new members and they pushed my master has been consistently the best band. Even when they don't bring out the best music for the year, they are consistently bringing out great music. My master has not had a bad year. And if you want to talk about Hollywood, Hollywood album is probably the best album that came out that year. They came out late, they came out unmastered, some people were disappointed in it, and some people was happy that Grand Masters wasn't in the competition in all honesty. Some people were fed up at Grand Masters winning. So a lot of that went down into it. So I just want to highlight all of this and say, yes. The best band in St. Kitts and Nevis is Grandmasters. It is not close. They are by far consistency kings. But I will give props to New Vibes and especially Collision. I'll give them everyone for their money right now. Upset Squad. You write up, they give them everyone for their money too. Couple more years of consistency. And you're passing New Vibes though. A couple more years of consistency and you're passing New Vibes. Just watch. Because I'm telling you right now, New Vibes are super inconsistent. They're super inconsistent. The only reason why I give them that third is because these last three years of music that New Vibes put out, they have been showing some pretty good consistency. And if they can keep it up, they might... Like I said, there is an actual decent band war happening right now. Like, we've had some good years of consistency, but New Vibes has been very inconsistent coming up. So, the fact that they're getting that consistent, collision coming, collision coming back more consistent, and upset squad consistent, like... Seeing his carnival is looking bright. I mean, once the world, if the world manages to take care of the actual pandemic problem, then I can see a very bright future for all of, all the singing music. It's looking really, really beautiful right now. And I'm enjoying it. But again, Ultra Lux, more singing music, please and thank you. Red Devils and all the other people who play dance on the street, cut that shit entirely. I ain't want to see it, I ain't want to hear it. Get this shit off the street. Strictly local, strictly local, soca, strictly boilers, strictly pep, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, it was long, and this was the first UN rant. This is gonna be a hell of a video to edit. I have to get this out by Friday, Jesus Christ. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
and I will see you all in the next one. Okay, once more, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I understand this wasn't typical like my um regular content in terms of um you know anime and gaming, but during my rant series, it's gonna touch more than just anime gaming. It's gonna touch stuff that I'm also passionate about more and more and I really wanted to talk about Sink Kids with Carnival, Sugar Mass. I want to talk about Road Match, which is my favorite path of Carnival. I haven't I didn't even focus on like the culture and stuff. I wanted to talk about mo most of the music and the bands because that's what I like the most. And I just wanted to put all the stuff out here. No, before I go actually, Carnival Committee. If any of you find this because I know my channel is small and I don't really be putting out a lot of content that is geared towards this but if something is possible to find it because it's gonna be sugar mass and all stuff in the title and i don't know if anybody gonna actually take the time to listen to me all the way through the end but if something is possible to find it and you listen to the end i want you to go to the carnival committee or somebody if carnival committee member here y'all change your criteria let me give you a criteria that works for road match right here right now road match can be judged on both parade day and juve and it is going to be very counterproductive and it's going to be a weird road match criteria but we need to do this performance thing new vibes could have win road match this year masters could have win road match this year collision could have get a first road match this year instead a song that had no popularity behind it but was very good for sokoman act in a basically glorified sokoman act competition for bands won the road match this isn't the first time because get jiggy with it did it too with half the stress beating area code. We have had a lot of instances of unpopular songs in comparison winning. We need to stop this. We need to go back to where the popular or the best sounding song win. We need to reach back to that point. And to do this, on Juve, introduce roaming judges. You know, the same year that I did it with, um, we got the hardware. Bring those back. Don't tell, let the DJs register to prove, give the points. DJs need to give points for road match. It's added. And I, I just want to point out the DJs have always been the people that deserve road match. It has never been the bands themselves. The most the bands can do is come up early on Juve and play the music. And honestly speaking, I don't even think, don't judge, don't judge them parading either. Actually, judge it strictly on Juve and judge it with roaming judges around the place and let people play the music. The most popular song will be will play the most. It will play by judging points for traditional Juve troops, and it will play not by judging points. It will play all over the road, and you will get the most popular song actually winning. And as long as the judges are moving like every, if I have to say, have the judges move every like twenty or so minutes. Have them be like communicating with each other, communicating like a WhatsApp group chat or whatever. Keep them the only ones in there, and let them move to specifically coordinate. Never go to the same spot twice. Never. Stand in the same spot, let them go around and then explore the entirety of the Juve route, the new Juve route. And also, I want to tell y'all how to fix y'all Juve route too. Another suggestion since I was complaining that Juve too big for Fort Street and Juve too big for town, Juve is not too big for town. You cannot take Juve out of town, you can't take it out of town, you cannot go bypass with it, you can't do any of that stuff. What you can do is extend the route. What you can do is make the Juve route much longer. What you can do, and let me let me let me point out what, what I would do with the Juve route. The parade route is fine. Let me tell you what I would do with the Juve route. So, Juve we always live in a little circle, right? What I would do is the same way. I want everybody to make their way to the bear route. To the bear route. I want everybody to make their way to the bear road and come across the bear road. They're starting from the starting point. You got to make your way down the bear road. I think I would, what I would say, just to make it a little bit more cohesive and safer and nice. Everybody make their way down towards the fire, by the fire station down that street there, onto the bear road. They come down there and they go on the bear road and they go straight across from the bear road and come up Fort Street. Everybody come up Fort Street. Now straight across the road and they come up Fort Street. From there, you go cross towards Square Street. 
you go down Spear Street and instead of going all the way down back to the Bay Road because that's where one of the bottlenecks was that was one of the two bottlenecks because everybody coming across the Bay Road you can't get through at the start of the people get stuck there because people coming across thing nobody goes all the way down Spear Street instead you go across South Spear Street and up East Spear Street and then you go back across and down the fire, down the fire station when you do that route is one circle cut out the entire church street area and just do the route like that do the entire route just like that do the route just like that if that ain't long enough or if you still because the problem with the route isn't even length is how much bottleneck you get in if you do like that you cut out every instance of bottlenecking you're gonna get in the parade and the only issue you might run into is that some of them street you cross um Keon Street when you're going across it by the fire station kind of small. That's the only issue you might actually run into with it. But other than that, you get more space to jam on Bay Road. You get to, you still get to come up Fourth Street like everybody wanna come up Fourth Street. You go around the square street them still, and there should be no band sitting stuck behind each other. For extended periods of time there should be no band stuck on square street trying to get onto the bedroom for extended period of time it fixes the issue so if anybody could hear me please implement this or do something similar you need a pure one thing and you can't have people in multiple areas. not church street church, you can't go church street and four street and so it has to be one cohesive route one cohesive route there can't be any point where somebody coming from one direction or come from the other all right that's my two cents. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. My next rant video for all of you who watch me for my actual content that I put out here and not, you know, thing. We are going to be going into some Smash. Ben. Steve. And that's what we're going to be talking about. The Blockman from Minecraft. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you all in the next one.